All right, so why do modern day relationships tend to fail? Um, so <clears throat> before I get into that, I just want to say um, rest in paradise to my brother Trayvon, man. You know, he just uh, passed away a uh, couple of days in a drunk driving accident. He was riding his motorcycle um, down the street, pretty sure going home, and <clears throat> a drunk motorist uh, knocked him off his bike. I've known that brother for years now. Um, we went to high school together and everything. And it's just, it's just sad, man. So I just thought I would just acknowledge him before I even start this video because, man, I was, I was deeply saddened <clears throat> yesterday when I found out. Um, but uh, yeah, so without further ado, uh, why do modern day relationships uh, fall apart? Why don't they last? Um, my theory is it's because they're not really built to last. They're not built on anything strong. They don't have a, a moral compass, if you will, uh, to last long out here these these days. <clears throat> so um, I'm gonna try to keep. I'm, I'm on my way to work, so I'm gonna try to keep my <laughs> my my badge and stuff covered because I don't want to get fired from job. You know, they'd be tripping on this stuff. But anyways, so um, so anyways. There's, there's a thing called the three C's. There is um, commitment, uh, compromise, and communication, right? So I'm gonna go over these three things. Um, and then, But first, I'm gonna say that the reason why a lot of relationships don't last is because they're not built on anything uh, strong. They're not built on anything. That they're basically, a lot of these relationships nowadays are built on sex like and compatibility i mean and you know there's nothing wrong with that but when that's all you have you can't you can't go to higher tiers in the relationship world so everybody believes when they get into the relationship that's you know when they first get together that's as good as it gets nah man um relationships are intended to get better as time goes on so the more uh you reveal about yourself and the more the other person reveals about themselves uh the relationship gets stronger the bond is stronger but when you have these three c's along with it your relationship can get so strong that it it'll surprise you like how good the relationship is and the first one i want to talk about is um communication uh, i feel like a lot of relationships lack communication people feel that they can't talk to their significant other for whatever reason um they can't give out uh, constructive criticism and they can't take constructive criticism. And let me speak about constructive criticism. Um, when you're giving constructive criticism uh, regarding your partner, you should treat it in a way where you're not screaming at them. You're not talking down to them. You're trying to elevate them. So you want to motivate them and you want to use a soft and subtle tone when you're talking to them like, hey, babe, you know, I noticed that you like to spend a lot of money all the time. Like what if instead of spending that money, we saved it? Like what if we opened up a joint account and we saved more money together so that way we could do things like go on vacation or save up for a house or whatever. You know, it's all about your tone and how you're coming at them. Cause I know for a fact, a lot of people can't take constructive criticism. And it's all about how you come off and your tone is. Um, Communication is one of the strongest things you're going to have in a relationship, being able to talk to your significant other about anything. And I know guys, I know I'm a guy too. So I, I oh, let me turn that on. I'm a little dark. But anyway, so I, I understand guys, you know, you don't want to tell your lady about everything that goes on through your day because sometimes you just don't want to talk about it. But I'm going to have to say, like, you got to talk about it sometimes. I mean, like, you just got to tell them like, hey, you know, had a bad day, you know, Randy's, you know, dumb A, he did something stupid at work and it kind of like pissed me off. That's why I'm kind of in like a bad mood. I mean, it like little stuff like that goes a long way. And, and the same thing goes for your partner. Your partner should be able to open up to you and tell you about anything that's going on in their life as well, because you don't want to have a relationship where you two just can't talk to each other about things that are going on in your life you know, outside of the relationship because it will it will break. It will come to a breaking point and your relationship will break down. Um, so the next point I wanna talk about, commitment. 
A lot of people don't understand what commitment means. And commitment, a lot of people like to say like, oh, this is my ride or die, or blah, blah, blah. But you really don't even understand what a ride or die is. Like that's being committed all the way through. Like, you know how some of you guys will give up on a relationship off of silly things like, you know what? I'm just tired of her doing this or I'm tired of him doing this and then break up. That ain't commitment, man. You got to stay committed, man. And I'm not talking about these... <laughs> I'm not talking about these relationships that, you know, people just jump into them just to jump into them. No, I'm talking about stuff where it's like, you've been together for a year or two. You guys should be committed to each other. You guys should be looking forward. First of all, let me say this. You shouldn't jump into any relationship if you have no intentions of getting married to that person. Like you should see like something in them that you can, you know, take and, and be like, yo, I can see myself like, you know, getting married to him. Like, it, that's what a relationship really is. I hope you guys know this out there. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all do, but I'm just hoping that y'all understand that. Um, staying committed means like, you know, <clears throat> staying down for each other and, and, and not letting little bullshit things um, get in the way of you guys' relationship. You know, like don't let little things tear you guys apart. Um, I want to talk about the cheating and stuff. Like, like if you have someone, like if, you, if your partner cheats on you, and it's the one time and they're apologizing and, and they're trying to tell you the reason why and, and, and they're sorry and they're not going to do it again. I say, I say, work it out. Yeah, I honestly would say work it out. If it's not an ongoing thing where they're constantly cheating, like you're constantly catching them and, and doing shit and it's sus. I say work it out. I mean, there's awful. There's all there's couple, there's couples counseling and stuff like that out there. I mean, you could definitely work that out. Now, somebody who's just out here just constantly cheating, you're always wanting, yeah, leave their ass. Like, if they're abusing you mentally, physically, leave their ass. You don't have to stay committed to stuff like that. I'm talking about staying committed to, to, to someone who actually, you know, inside wants to be there. Like, you know, don't just give up on people, you know. <clears throat> um, so compromise. The third C, the last C. Um... Being able to swallow your pride and say, you know what, it's not always about me. You know, let me let me compromise because it's for the betterment of the relationship. A lot of times people get in their feelings and then they get real prideful about situations uh, when it comes to relationships, uh, especially, you know, dealing with things like, oh, I want it this way. Like, I feel like that's the best way. No, 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 no. Listen to the other side. Talk it out amongst you, amongst yourself. That's where communication comes in. And then you guys come to a compromise, man. It's not always about the one or the other. It's, it's, it's about both of you guys. Like you guys should both be able to come together, make a decision uh, that, that affects both of you, man. I, I don't like when people try and make a situation all about them when it's really not about them. It's about the relationship as a whole. You guys are a unit, you know, um, yeah, you guys are two separate halves, but like when you guys are in a relationship, you are one. So it's like you kind you really do have to compromise on a lot of things. You can't always be just one way. Um so the last thing I want to talk about is um I in regards to communication, there's this thing that a lot of people do in their relationship, and I'm gonna hurry it up because I gotta get to work. Um They'll tell their business to outside entities like friends, family, whatever's going on in your relationship, keep it inside, keep it an internal thing. Like you don't want to be telling people about your relationship and what you guys do. And then your partner finds out and they feel stupid because other people uh, in your family, your friend circle, whatever, your job, especially at your job. Man, what the f Why are you doing that? Uh, they're talking about them because you're you're telling them information and you know your partner finds out like dude let me tell you something i've had times where women will talk about me to their friends and they'll, they'll they don't think anything of it they think they're just gossiping and then you know sharing information but it's not it's a detriment because these people are going to be telling you things to do especially if they're not in a relationship like your single friends are, are just the worst they give you the worst advice uh, as far as a relationship. That's why I say keep your problems, keep your everything in, in your relationship internal. Don't 
Don't do any of that stuff where you're telling other people about your situation because they're going to give you bad uh, advice, bad information, and then it's going to wreck your relationship. You know, it's going to cause problems. So I'm just saying, man, if you want to if you want to keep your relationship going stronger, whatever, keep it internal, man. And I mean, that's just and those are just the things that I feel like that's why a lot of relationships can't hack it. Of course, there's a love thing. That comes into play where a lot of people don't really understand what love is but i think that's another video for another time but i'm your boy frenchy the lemon and uh i'm out of here rest in paradise brother man i'll see you again one day man peace love and happiness y'all i'm out